So guys, we are on the UE4SS game settings loader Nexus website page. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can follow along as we're going through this. The first thing that I would like to note about this is this is going to be one of those mods that does a lot of things behind the scenes. It's not flashy. You're not going to see what this does while you're playing your game, but this is going to be one of those mods that is absolutely required moving forward for several other mods. Uh, this essentially is a game settings loader, but for the Unreal Engine. So there is another mod out there called Game Settings Loader. It is for the base Oblivion game. There's already several mods that require it. This is essentially the same thing, but for the Unreal Engine portion of Oblivion Remastered. So with that little description summary out of the way, I'm just real quick going to go over requirements before we get into installation. So the requirements for this mod, you can see there's only one that's truly required. It's the un, un, the UE4SS Unreal Engine 4 um, for Oblivion Remastered. This is absolutely required for this mod to do anything. It is assumed, and I think that's why these are in here with optional, it's assumed that you're going to have OBS E64. If you do not have that installed, please follow uh, the link in the description below to my video covering how to get OBS E64 installed and set up. Um, additionally, if you are using UE4SS Game Settings Loader, you should also be using Game Settings Loader. <laughs> that should be straightforward. They're kind of doing the same thing. This is for the base Oblivion game, and this mod right here is for the Unreal Engine portion of it. So if you use all four of these together, you're going to have access to several mods. Which mods? Well, it tells you right here at least these mini mods are requiring this mod in order to work. Faster spell projectiles, faster magic regeneration, things like this. Uh, so this mod right here is going to be quite essential moving forward. I expect that list to grow way beyond the size of this page. Now we're going to get into installation. And conveniently, there is a Vortex Easy Mod Download button here. Real quick, it's going to warn you, these are the three other files that you need. Really, you only need this, but it is implied that you are also using these. So we're going to go ahead and skip those, but if you have not installed all three of these already, please, please do. All right, so we're going to get to download now. Do a slow download. You're going to pull up Vortex. And we've got UE4SS. I'm expecting this mod to show here somewhere, but if it's not there, let's look for it. Game BB's Unreal Game Settings Loader. That's it right there. I do not believe it's going to show up in the load order. I'm correct. This is one of those mods that is going to be running behind the scenes. Make sure that you have this mod enabled and ready to go before you start uh, enabling any mods that require it. Essentially, uh, this mod, as well as Game Settings Loader and UE4SS, those three mods should be enabled first and always, followed immediately and swiftly by these unofficial Oblivion Remastered patches. This one only if you own the Deluxe. That's kind of how I'm seeing mods working in the future, is those are going to be required and enabled first. <laughs> uh, I hope that this helps with installation, you were able to follow along. And if you have any questions or issues with this, leave a comment down below. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it, and I hope it was very helpful showcasing this mod and showing how to install it. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get this channel growing so that we can uh, show as many people as possible how uh, easy it is to install some mods and showcase some really good mods that some hardworking people come up with. Um, in order to do that though, I, I'm really going to need you guys' help. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with as many people as you can. We'll try to get this channel growing and hopefully it helps as many people as possible. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time.